स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बारिक स्मार्ट क्लास आई एम आलू टूडे टॉपिक योर कॉम्बिनेशन क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन क्लास देर आर टेन ऑरेंज इन योर बास्केट फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ ऑरेंज इन हुई थ्री ऑरेंज आर सुजन फ्रॉम द बास्केट यू नो दैट एनसीआर एनसीआर फॉर्मूला एनसीआर फॉर्मूला n फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय r फैक्टोरियल होल इनटू r माइनस r फैक्टोरियल ncr ncr n फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय r फैक्टोरियल होल इनटू r माइनस r फैक्टोरियल देयर आर 10 ऑरेंज सो हियर 10c3 10c3 मींस 10 फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय 3 फैक्टोरियल इनटू 7 फैक्टोरियल 10 माइनस 3 7 7 फैक्टोरियल सो आई राइट 10 इनटू 9 इनटू 8 इनटू 7 फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय 3 इनटू 2 इनटू 1 इनटू 7 फैक्टोरियल दिस इज 7 फैक्टोरियल 7 फैक्टोरियल कैंसिल्स देन 3 3 जा 9 2 4 जा 4 3 जा 12 10 जा 120 सो दैट ऑप्शन डी इज योर करेक्ट आंसर क्लियर दिस इज अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बट वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिस वी नीड प्रैक्टिस ओके कम टू द नेक्स्ट नंबर क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 There are twenty-five students in a class. How many students? Twenty-five students. There are twenty-five students in a class. Find the number of boys in which a committee of three students is to be formed. A committee of three students is to be formed. So it's to be formed. So that twenty-five C three. Twenty-five C three means twenty-five factorial divided by three factorial into twenty-five minus three, twenty-two factorial. So I can write here twenty-five into twenty-four into twenty-three into twenty-two factorial divided by three into two into one. Three two just six six four just twenty-five four just hundred hundred into twenty-three hundred into twenty-three. This is your two three zero zero. This is into twenty-two factorial. This twenty-two factorial twenty-two factorial cancels. Twenty-five factorial means twenty-five into twenty-four into twenty-three into twenty-two factorial. Then we divided by three into two into one for three factorial into twenty-two factorial. This twenty-two factorial twenty-two factorial cancels. Then three two just six four just twenty-four twenty-five four just hundred hundred into twenty-three two thousand three hundred. So that option B is your correct answer. Question number two answer B. Next number. Question number three. Find the number of triangles formed by joining the vertex of a hexagon. Find the number of triangles formed by joining the vertex of a hexagon. In the hexagon, there are six sides. Six, sorry, six vertex. Six vertex. Okay. We uh, we make the triangle. That is your six C three. Six C three means six factorial divided by three factorial. Six minus three, three factorial. I can write six into five into four into three factorial divided by three factorial means three into two into one into three factorial. Three factorial, three factorial cancels. Three two just six, six cancels. Five four just twenty. There are twenty triangles which can be formed using the vertex of the hexagon. Are you clear? Any doubt about this? Come to the next number. Question number four. How many diagonals are there in a decagon? You know that in the decagon there are ten vertex. We need diagonal. For one diagonal. We use the two points. Okay, there are ten vertex. Ten decagon in the decagon. There are ten vertex. In the ten vertex, number of diagonals and the number of sides both are included. Ten C two. Ten C two means ten into nine divided by two. Two five is a nine five is a forty five. In the forty five, there are ten sides. The remaining thirty-five lines are called the diagonal in the decagon. The answer is A. Are you clear? In you, in two points, we make a line or we make a diagonal. But we need only two points. There are ten points. That means ten vertex of the decagon. So ten C two. In the ten C two, both are included. Both means line. Means side, okay. Then diagonal side and diagonal both are included 
in the tan C2. So we get 45. In the 45 line plus diagonals means side plus diagonals. 10 is, 10 it is your sides. Okay, 45 minus 10 is equal to 35. Number of diagonals 35 in the decagon. Next number, question number 5. In a party, every person sacks hands with every other person. If there was a total of 120 hands in the party, find the number of persons, find the number of persons who are present in the party. Find the number of persons who are present in the party. So, suppose in the party there are, in the party, there are number of persons, number of persons, number of persons is n. Okay? In a party, Every person sex hands with every other person. If there was a total of 120 hands sex, suppose there are total number of persons in the party n. Number of hands sex is nc2. According to the question, nc2 is equal to 120. nc2 means you know that n into n minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 120. At first, you have to watch your concept video. After this, come to the question discussion class. Otherwise, you don't uh, understand clearly without watching the concept video. Try to understand the concept of the every topic and come to the MCQ classes. In the MCQ classes, we use the various circuit tricks. Clear? If you know the fundamental, if you know the concept, then you know also this, these types of tricks. N C 2 N into N minus 1 by 2. It has discussed in the concept class. Clear? So n into n minus 2 is equal to 120. Then n into n minus 1, n into n minus 1 is equal to 2 into 120 is equal to 240. So there are two numbers, two consecutive numbers, product is 240. Two consecutive numbers, product is 240. Then 6 is 40. Okay. Uh, then uh, Three eighty, okay. Then five, then sixteen, okay. So five three are fifteen and a sixteen. So n value here sixteen n minus one fifteen is equal to two hundred forty. So that the number of persons present in that party sixteen. Option C is your correct answer. Clear. Come to the next number. Question number six. On the occasion of a certain meeting, each member gives sack and to the remaining members. If the total hands seconds were 28, how many members were present for the meeting? Clear? So, suppose the number of persons here n, number of persons n, number of persons n, nc2 is equal to 28, nc2 means n into n minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 28, then n into n minus 1 is equal to 56, the so n value here 8, n minus value here 7, 8 7 are 56, so the number of persons present in that party 8, option D is your correct answer, question number 6 answer D, come to the next number, question number 7, there are 3 members in a delegation, which is it to be sent abroad, the total number of members 7, in a how many ways? Can the selection be made so that a particular member is always included and excluded? There are three members in a delegation which is to be sent abroad. The total number of members is seven. How many ways can the selection be made so that A means a single, a particular member is always included and is always excluded? Come to the first case, included case. So there are three members which is to be sent abroad. From the seven members, we select one member always included each and every group. There are seven persons. From the seven person, we select the three persons which is sent to be abroad, which is to be sent abroad. Clear? In the three persons, one person is always included each and every group. There are seven persons. One person is always included each and every group. That one is uh, fixed. The remaining persons are six. 
Three into two divided by three into two into one uh, into three factorial. Three into two into one. Three two ja six six cancels. Then six six cancels. Five four ja twenty. Option D is your correct answer. One is fifteen. Then another is twenty. Are you clear? Six is two. Six into five divided by two. Fifteen. The answer will be fifteen. Option D. Fifteen and twenty. Are you clear about this? Then come to the next number. Question number eight. There are twelve points in a plane. Out of which five are collinear. Find the number of triangles formed by the points as a vertex. So here five are collinear. One, two, three, four, five. These are the five. Okay. We cannot make we cannot make a triangle. Using these five points, but it helps to the other point to make a triangle. Clear? There are twelve points. There are twelve points. In the twelve points, total number of triangles we can be formed. That is your twelve C three. Twelve C three minus. These are the five points. Okay? They cannot make the triangle among these points. Among these five points, but this point helps to the other point to make a triangle. Clear? What is it? So here there are five points. Five points means I can write here five C three. Twelve C three minus five 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 C three. Twelve C three means twelve factorial divided by three factorial into nine factorial. That means twelve into eleven into ten into nine factorial divided by three into two into one into nine factorial. This nine factorial nine factorial cancels. Three to the six to the twelve. Eleven to the twenty two into ten two hundred twenty. Minus five C three five factorial divided by three factorial into two factorial. I can write here five into four into three factorial divided by three factorial into two into one. This three factorial three factorial cancels two two ja five two ja ten minus ten. The answer here two hundred ten. Option C is your correct answer. Eight answer C. Clear. Come to the next number. Question number nine. There are 18 points in a plane. Out of which six are collinear. Find the number of triangles. Find the number of triangles formed by the points as vertex. So number of triangles we can be formed using the 18 points, 18 C3. But in the 18 points, among the 18 points, six are collinear. But six are collinear means they are in the one straight line. They cannot make the any triangle among these among these points. Clear? So I write here minus six C three. Eighteen C three means eighteen factorial divided by three factorial into fifteen factorial minus six factorial divided by three factorial into three factorial. So eighteen C three means eighteen into seventeen into sixteen into fifteen factorial divided by three into two into one into fifteen factorial. Fifteen factorial, fifteen factorial cancels. Three two just six, six three just. That means seventeen into three into sixteen. Seventeen three just. Fifty one into sixteen. Sixteen one just sixteen six and one carry. Sixteen five just eighty plus one eighty one eight hundred sixteen minus six C three minus eight hundred sixteen. Minus six C three means six factorial divided by three factorial into three factorial. So I write here six into five into four into three factorial divided by three into two into one into three factorial. 
this three factor will three factor will cancel. Three two just six 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 cancels. Five four just twenty. Eight hundred sixteen minus twenty. So that answer will be seven hundred ninety. Sorry, eight hundred sixteen minus twenty. Six eleven minus two is equal to nine. Seven hundred ninety six. Option B is your correct answer. Question number nine answer B. Question number eight and question number nine. There are no difference. Try to understand why we subtract. This is the basic things. Eight and C. There are eight points. We have to make the triangle using the eighteen points. That is your eight C three. Eight and C three. In the eighteen point six are collinear. We cannot make any triangle using these six points. So I write six C three. Eight and C three minus six C three. The answer is what? Seven hundred ninety six. Clear. Next number. Question number ten. On a new year day, every student of a class sends a card. Sends, sends a card to every other student. The postman delivers 552 cards. How many students are there in the class? This is your question. So here, 552 cards. On a new year day, every student of a class sends a card to every other student. The postman delivers 552 cards. How many students are there in the class? Then, according to the question, 2 into n c 2 is equal to 552. Yes or no? In the fundamental class, in the concept class, I have discussed these particular things. When, in the case of a handshake, in the two person only one handshake is possible. But in the case of the letter. You send a letter to your friend. You send a letter to your friend, and your friend also sent a letter to you. There are two letters, okay? But for the one letter, we need two persons. But in the case of a letter and in the case of handshake, in the case of handshake, only one is possible. Only one handshake will be possible for the two persons. But in the case of a letter, you send a card and also you get a card. Okay, so we multiplied here two. Two into N C two is equal to five hundred fifty two. So N C two is equal to five hundred fifty two divided by two. Clear? Then N C two means N into N minus one by two is equal to five hundred fifty two by two. Two two cancels. N into N minus one is equal to five hundred fifty two. There are two consecutive numbers. Which is multiplied each other. We get 552. Find out the DG two consecutive numbers. 552. 24 and sorry, two two is a four. Uh, then 15. Two seven is a fourteen. Two six is a. Then two one is a. Two three is a. Two eight is a. Then uh, two five is a. Two six is a twelve. Two six is a. Twelve eight into nine is a. Then three three two is a three three is a. So your two two four four two eight three is a twenty four twenty four into twenty three twenty four into twenty three is equal to five hundred fifty two. So the number of persons present there are twenty four. So the twenty four students class students in the class. Clear. Come to the next number. Question number eleven. From six officers and ten jawans, in a how many ways can five be chosen to include exactly one officer? But we have to select the five persons. We have to select the five persons. Clear? From six officers and ten jawans, in a how many ways can five be chosen to include exactly one officer? Six C one. From the officer, we select one officer. From the officer, we select one officer. That is your six C one, and jawans ten jawans ten C four four plus one five six C one then C zero that is six into ten C four ten factorial divided by four factorial into six factorial. So ten into nine into eight into seven into six factorial divided by four into three into two into one into six factorial. This is six pack plus six pack plus cancels. Four two is eight. Two two cancels. Three three is ten. Three is thirty. Thirty thirty seven is two hundred ten into two hundred ten. So zero 
6 1 the 6 6 2 the 12 12 160 12 160 means option C is your correct answer 11 answer C come to the next number there are four questions in a question paper in a how many ways can a student solve one or more questions there are four questions in a question paper how many questions here four questions There are four questions in a question paper. In a how many ways can a student solve one or four questions? Suppose he solves one question. That is your 4C1. 4C1. Then plus he solves suppose 4C2. There are two questions. It is solved by the person. Then 4C3. Then 4C4. Here 4C14 4C plus 4C2. 4C2 means 6 because 4 into 3 divided by 2. 3 to the 6. 4C3 means 4 plus 4C4 means 1. 6 for 10, 10 for 15, 1, 16. Sorry. 6 for 10, 10 for 14, 1, 15. 15. 15 means option D is your correct answer. But you know that in the different way also you solve this question. In the fundamental class I have discussed. So here 2 to the power 4 minus 1. 2 to the power 4 means 16 minus 1. Your answer is 15. Clear? Come to the next number. Question number 13. From 6 officers and 10 jobs. In a half hour can scale 5 be chosen to include exactly one officer. So here uh, I have discussed these questions in the question number 11. Come to the next number. Question number 14. In a how many ways can 5 sportsmen be selected from a group of 10? That is your 10C5. There are 10 persons, so we select a, uh, 5 persons. Okay. 10C5, 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So here 10 factorial means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial. Divided by 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. Into 5 factorial. This 5 factor, 5 factor cancels. 5 4 is 20. So 5 2 2 cancels. Then 4 2, then 3 2. Okay. 9 2 2. 9 2 is 18, 18 2 is 36. Ten factorial divided by five factorial into five factorial. So I write here ten into nine into eight into seven into six into five factorial divided by five factorial into five into four into three into two into one. This five factorial five factorial cancels. Five two is ten ten cancels. Then three two is six. Then two two is then two four is nine into four into seven. Okay. 9 for the 36 into 7. 7, 6 the 2, 4, 7, 3 the 21 for 25. 252. So the option C is your correct answer. Clear? Option C is your correct answer. Again I also solve these questions. 10 C 5, 10 C 5. 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 5 factorial. 10 factorial means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 5 factorial. This 3 to the 6, 6, 6 cancels. Okay. 5 to the 10. Then 4 to the 8. So 9 into 2 to the 4 into 7. 9 for the 36 into 7. 7, 6 are 42, 2, 4 carry, 7, 3 are 21, 4, 25, 252, 200, 52 option C is your correct answer. Then come to the next number, question number 15. In a how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be selected out of 16 players if two particular players are always to be included? If two particular players are always to be included? Okay, clear. In a how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players to be selected out of 16 players? Then from the 16, two selected, any two persons selected, two particular members, sorry, two particular persons. Suppose Ram and Sam. Ram and Sam. 
these two persons included in the these two persons included in the 16 numbers two person compulsory in each and every group the, the, the two persons always included each and every group what to make a number of groups clear but here from the 16 2 minus there are 14 14 c 9 14 c 9 means you can understand why, why, why I write here 9 because 11 players already 2 person selected the remaining number of 9 14 c 9 14 factorial divided by 9 factorial 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 factorial so I 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 factorial divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 9 factorial this 9 factorial 9 factorial cancels then 5 to 10 10 cancels ok 4 to 12 12 cancels 14 into 13 into 11 so 14 3 ja 14 3 ja 42 2 4 carry 14 1 ja 14 4 18 into 11 11 2 ja 22 2 2 carry 11 8 ja 88 plus 2 90 0 9 carry 11 1 ja 11 9 20 2002 2002 means option D is your correct answer option D is your correct answer 15 answer D next number 16 number in a how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be selected out of 16 players if one particular player is to be excluded in the previous question in the previous question it is included in the previous question it is in, it was included included okay but in the number of question 16 it is your excluded okay there are 16 members one person will be excluded the remaining persons are 15 from the 15 persons we can select 11 players for the team 11 players for the team so i write 15 c 11 15 c 11 means 15 factorial divided by 11 factorial 15 minus 11 4 factor so that i can write 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 factorial divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 11 factorial. This 11 factorial, 11 factorial cancels. 4 3 are 12, 12 cancels. Then 2 7 ja, 15 7 ja, 105 into 13. 13 5 ja, 65, 31 ja, 13. 1 3 6 5 option B is your correct answer. Option B is your correct answer. Question number 17. The committee should have all 4 professors and 1 research associate. Or all three trainees added two professors. But a committee has five members. How many members? Five members. It should be formed out of three trainees. Trainees. Trainees three. Then professor. Four. Then research associate. Then research associate uh, 6 clear. In a how many different ways can this be done? The committee should have all four professors, that is your professor Sursi 1, and one research uh, associate, that is your 6 issue 1. 4 C1 means 4, 6 issue 1 means 6. 6 for the 24 clear. Or 3 trainees and 2 professors. 3 trainees means 3 C 3 into 3 trainees and 2 professors. 2 professors means there are professor 4 C 4 C 2. 3 C 3 means 3 and 4 C 2 means uh, uh, here 3 4 C 2. 4 into 3 divided by 2. 2 3 ja. Then 3 3 ja 9 3 ja 27. Sorry. 2 2 ja. 3 2 ja 6 3 ja 18. 18 18. Okay, the answer 24. The so one answer is given, or other answer is not given here. The so one is 24, another is 18. Clear? Come to the next number. Question number 18. The committee should have two trainees and a three research associates. Two trainees means the number of trainees are three. 3C2 into three research associates. 
resource associate, associate here six persons. That is your six is three. Three C two means three factorial divided by two factorial into one factorial six factorial divided by into three factorial into three factorial three factorial means I can write three into two into one divided by two six C six into five into four into three factorial divided by three into two into one into three factorial. This three factorial three factorial cancels three to the six one six is cancels five four the twenty. That twenty three is sixty. So option C is your correct answer. Eighteen answer C. Clear? Question number nineteen. In how many different ways can the letters of the word officers be arranged? Officers O F F I C E R S. So one two three four five six seven eight. Eight factorial divided by F M double here two factorial. So eight into seven into six into five into four into three into two divided by two. Two two cancels. Eight seven is fifty six. Six five is thirty four. Three is twelve. So zero three six is eighteen eight one carry three five three is fifteen one sixteen into twelve. Twelve zero is zero. Twelve is ninety six six nine carry twelve six is seventy two plus nine eighty one one eight carry twelve one is twelve plus eight twenty. Two zero one six zero. So option E is your correct answer. Clear? Come to the next number. Question number ten. Twenty. Sorry, question number twenty. Sum of three natural numbers A, B, and C is ten. How many ordered triplets A, B, C exist? Very important question. So here, suppose these are the numbers. Ten numbers A, B, C is ten. Sum of three natural numbers A, B, C is ten. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many order triplets A, B, C exist? Suppose I write the, I draw the two lines. Means you divide the, divide these ten lines in three groups. Okay, there are ten lines. We divide the ten lines in three groups. So. We get a one group, then this group, then this group. It is two, and it is four, and it is four. Other suppose I can make this line, this line. This is also three groups: one group, two group, and it is your three group. Are you clear? But here, suppose. There are ten, nine places. One place, two places, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the nine places to make a line. To make a line, that is your nine C two. Nine C two. Nine C two means nine into eight divided by two. Two four is nine four is thirty six. Okay. In a how many order triplets? There are thirty six order triplets. How if you if you make a line? Suppose it is your line and it is the line. That means one plus one plus eight is equal to ten. Suppose in another way you can draw another line. Another line means suppose this is your line. You draw in this way, uh, and also there are two groups. In the one group four, then another group three, then another group three, ten. Okay, this uh, such uh, triplets. You can make thirty-six triplets. Okay, all these numbers are natural numbers. Okay, from one to nine, there are nine digits. Okay, clear. This was your combination MCQ classes. Go to your panel. From the panel, try to download your uh, PDF format questions and uh, your Word format question. Okay, try to solve all the questions which is assigned by our panel. And if you have our volume, body volume, okay. In the body volume, try to solve all the questions. If you don't solve any questions, come to the doubt, doubt clearing class. Definitely, we will solve all the questions of your doubts. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.